I love the MCU. Of course I do. The decade plus long plots, interlacing stories, relationships, and more. Among my favorite MCU movies are, of course, The Avengers. Everyone loves The Avengers. The culmination of everything that came prior can be incredibly satisfying. My favorite Avengers movie is probably Endgame. It's one of my favorite MCU movies, period. Maybe one of my favorite movies of all time. A masterpiece in, if nothing else, culmination and just simply working. Of course, there's nothing really simple about Avengers Endgame, at least not when compared to... Most of the intelligence community doesn't believe he exists. The ones that do call him the Winter Soldier. He's a ghost. You'll never find him. Captain America the Winter Soldier is... Eight years later... Eight years? Oh, God help me. I anyway, all these years later, one of my favorite Marvel movies still. It actually might be my favorite Marvel movie. It's been a minute since I've seen it, so I had to rewatch it. But the reason it works so well, at least for me, is how simple it is compared to Avengers and other movies surrounding it. Of course, it does connect to the MCU, and you should at least watch Captain America beforehand, the first one. But the story just feels so much smaller than other MCU movies, and I think it's better for it. The characters aren't gods, there's a small cast, and the world, at least immediately, isn't at stake. The same goes for other of my favorite superhero movies like Logan and The Dark Knight. You got this one story about two opposing forces, Batman and the Joker, just going at each other. And another about survival and other basic yet very important themes. Maybe that's why I love Christopher Nolan so much. Talking about concepts like time, dream, wars, memories, etc. You got these incredibly complex topics that are impossible, really, to fully grasp. And then boiling them down to their absolute simplest parts and how they affect each and every one of us. This makes for something that can be an incredibly powerful story that are so intimate. And of course they aren't bogged down or overcomplicated despite the complex nature of what drives it. These movies are all very popular, of course, so I'm not trying to argue that these are dying, although I will say that Nolan is one of the very few who can still have box office success with this model. In a way, I would also say I like animated movies more simplistic, although honestly, simplistic is the wrong term. Here, in a recent video, I actually spoke about the death, quote-unquote, of traditional animation in the West, and while I know animation is very, very far from simple, I kind of assume many people consider the old Disney and anime style simple and outdated, although I could be very wrong about that. There's a reason Disney Animation does a similar style to Pixar, even though Disney owns both, after all. But I much prefer the look of old Disney Animation from the 90s, or anime. I love anime. However, while the animation of anime is anything but simple, the plots of some of my favorites of all time are exactly that, and there's nothing wrong with it. You know, the, just the local blockhead overcoming the odds and beating the bad guy, it may be overdone, but it works. The premise can lay down the groundwork for a beautiful show, artistically and otherwise, with incredible fights and genuinely emotional moments. Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, and the Netflix Castlevania show are all in a class of their own in terms of things like art and fights. These things are cliche for a reason and when done well can really stand out in a crowded market like anime. Another use for simplicity in art is an effective disguise. For example, I'm a big One Piece fan and while it may seem simple at first, this makes it even more effective when the true nature of the world, lore, characters, and more are revealed and fleshed out more and more as the story is told over two decades. In my opinion, video games, my favorite thing in the world, are also better when simplified. At least to a degree. Many people expect complex, open worlds with incredible stories and characters. Of course, there's nothing wrong with this. However, the best games in the world, at least in my eyes, 
do just a few things perfectly. For example, Doom Eternal, my favorite game of all time, feels perfect because you do one thing the entire game. Now, by the nature, video games are complicated, especially when compared to other mediums. After all, you aren't a passive observer. The game simply won't happen without input from you, the player. There are also incredibly complex software, so making something as intricate as video games seem simple is a feat unto itself. This is why God of War PS4 is so impressive to me. Of course, there are games that have better stories, and it has good combat, great even, but I don't think it has the best. But if I look back, if I think, I don't know if I can name a single instance of both being done so well in one game. Now, of course, the king of simplicity in games is Nintendo. Wake up, Link. Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, maybe to its detriment. Little story or dialogue, just fun. Nintendo remembers why people played games originally, and the simplicity in that philosophy keeps them at the top, despite their many, many flaws. The discovery in Pokemon and Zelda, the movement of Mario. Unlike Sony and Microsoft, Nintendo does one thing, make games and they're damn good at it now it's not just movies games and tv shows that i think benefit from keeping simple even my favorite card game pokemon is looked down upon by some other card game players for being too simple although i would argue much of that simplicity is surface level but that's another video look i'm not saying complex can't be good and i don't want anyone to get that from this video of course, the aforementioned Avengers Endgame is fantastic, and One Piece is probably my favorite anime of all time. I would say that for most simple things, a key component is you can kind of jump in anywhere and understand, and I wouldn't recommend that for either, especially One Piece. But Jaws is my favorite horror movie. A few guys, a shark, and a boat. It doesn't get much more simple than that. And it's an absolute masterpiece. You can't do everything and do it well. In video games, movies, TV, books, in life. Something has to be sacrificed. I also don't want this to come across like these things aren't popular. Of course, everything I've mentioned is critically and commercially successful. Some of them even being considered the best in their field. It's just so easy to be distracted by complex things in our entertainment and in life. So, if you don't mind, next time you're watching TV reading a book, playing a game, or listening to music. Just sit back and notice the beauty in simplicity. Of course, I appreciate everyone who watched this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments, and tell me what your thoughts on simplicity, etc. is in games, movies, or whatever. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Mm -hmm.